Welcome to Old Classic Car and here at the pre-war Morris cars. Wonderful old cars of the 1920s and 1930s. So to begin with we have HAS138. That is a 1934 Morris Minor. That was my own car many years ago. I ran that for several years until uh, we outgrew it as Junior was growing up. So sadly it had to go. Next in this collection of pre-war Morrises, we have this, the Morris 8 Series 1. This is a four-seat, two-door Morris 8 Tourer, Series 1 car with the spoked wheels, chrome radiator surround, and so on. Really, really nice car, appears to be on its original registration number two. The hood is raised here. This was at Alton Park quite a few years ago now. Now in a motor museum, I forget which one, but this is a close-in view of the front of a Morris 10-4 Tourer. Most 10-4s seem to be the saloons that I come across. This is quite a rare Tourer and a lovely old scene in the background there of a high street garage. Wonderful stuff. Next up, this was Astor Park in I think 2007, the Steam Rally. We've got a Morris 8 Series E. These were built either side of the Second World War. This one's on its original registration. Appears to have a radio aerial as well, so a few tunes on the move in this particular car. Yep, two door, there's also the four door. Now this is an oddball car, KJ7530. This is a Cowley based Tourer with cycle wings, but quite a sporty looking car. I'm assuming this is a one off. I did a quick check and it's been untaxed since 2011. Um, first registered in 1932, so where is this car now? I wonder where it is. Back to Astor Park many years ago, you can see the little sign in the window there. We've got JA6544. This is a Series 2 Morris 10. That's a Stockport registration. Very smart it is too. Here's a really odd ball Morris we saw in Shropshire at a rally quite a few years ago. EHX303 is a woody built around what appears to be a Morris 8. We've got Series 1 wheels there but a polished uh, brass radiator surround, it hasn't been chromed. So a bit of everything going on there, but a really unusual looking car, I haven't seen that for years. Here's an interesting one, it's based on the Bullnose, but this is the MG, the MG Super Sports version of the early Bullnose Morris. Of course, Mo MG um, grew out of tuning and modifying uh, Morris road cars. That's how MG started, and this is one of the very first cars down to the NEC Classic Car Show, and we have the first of several Morris 10-4 saloons to feature, to feature in this particular collection. Got a few extras here, badges, full width wheel trims, and those interesting little indicators on the uh, scuttle panel there. Those were usually seen on the larger, more prestigious versions. Now, a little Morris Minor, we've already had my little saloon from 1934, and this is a similarly aged Tour, a little two-seat Tour many items of automobile also in view here, including a nice petrol bump in the background. And a nice sunny Oswestry, I believe this was, and it's a Morris 8, but this time it's the Series 2 Morris 8 with a painted radiator surround and the uh, disc wheels as opposed to the wire white wheels on the uh, Series 1. Quite a nice little car, that one. Staying with Morris 8, and we've got the slightly larger, slightly later Series E here, CJY838. This is a four-door saloon version, demonstrating its opening windscreen. Now here's a pre-war Morris, but at a Morgan Motor Museum, no less. This was down in Kent, I think. And a CM Booth collection and a wonderful circa 1929 or 1930 Cowley based van. Um, I think this one is actually about 1929, if I remember correctly. What a lovely little vehicle, this one. A few years ago, we uh, spotted this uh, bull nose Cowley. Lovely little car. A nice shell motor spirit can on the running board there. Very nice. Looking somewhat less shiny than that bull nose is the uh, sorry remains here of a Morris 10M four-door saloon. These were built either side of World War II. I don't know if this was the pre-war or the post-war example, but this video is all about cars that were designed and or built 
prior to the Second World War. And here we have a Series 1, a four-door version of the Series 1 Morris 8 BYE163. This was at an evening pub meet organised by the local VSCC uh, rep. Very nice little car too. And staying with Morris 8 Tourers, we have a work in progress four-seat Morris 8 Series 1 Tourer here. This was at the NEC. There's a body shell, I think, of a Series E alongside it. The Series E replaced the Series 2 Morris 8. This was at Prescott this year, 2022. We've got a fine example of a four-door saloon, Morris Cowley. What a Bobby Dazzler that is. Okay, we have another Morris 8 Series E here. This one has the modified headlamps, a seal beam headlamp conversion. Um, you'll, have, you'll have seen already on the Morris 8, they used to have quite slopey headlights and then you could get this conversion and the uh, moulding that the headlamps fit into and that all bolts onto the front wing, giving it a very different look. Now this says, is this the oldest Morris in existence? Question mark. What do you think? Now is, is this chassis number 5 or 105 or is it chassis number 130? Either way that's a very very early bullnose car. Um, up in this particular museum. There's a photo of the factory just on the left as well. Thanks to Vince for this photo and this is a close-in look at another example of the uh, Morris 8 in Series 1 form. This one, like so many Morris 8s, has been converted to seal beam headlamps. Here's a beauty I saw at Tatton Park Classic Car Show years and years ago in the mid-2000s. A&E 615 this is a, an April 1934 registered Morris Oxford. This had a six cylinder side valve engine. Really handsome car. The bigger the car you go, the fewer seem to have survived. And here it is pulling into Tatton Park, possibly on the same weekend. Lovely, lovely looking car. But like I say, these Austins and Morrises, the bigger engine cars, the larger cars, seem to have survived in far fewer numbers compared to their smaller counterparts. Maybe they're more difficult to garage, more expensive to run perhaps, and they fell on hard times that much sooner, who knows. Now, KR8810, this is one of my favourite vehicles in this entire collection of Morris vehicle photographs. A Morris Minor based van, circa 1931. Um, this one last sold in 2021 for just over £12,000 at auction. That's the overhead cam engine. Later, Morris Miners uh, reverted to a side valve engine. But what a cracking little van that is. That just looks absolutely perfect to me. I would love to have owned that. Okay, next to Morris, we have VR7064. This is a 1930 Morris Cowley Saloon, rated at 11.9 horsepower. That was for taxation purposes, nothing to do with brake horsepower, but just under the 12 horsepower cutoff. And uh, yeah, that's quite a rare car. Most seem to be tourers that have survived. Back to the bullnose. This predated the flat rad Morris we've just seen, and another bullnose with a two gallon petrol can on its running board, this time for Shell. Looks like it's been repainted, but yeah, that's a lovely looking car. Another bullnose here, a little, little two-seat bullnose. You'll note that there's no door for the driver. Um, to get in and out, you have to clamber across from the passenger side, presumably due to the, uh, the spare wheel on the running board there. Now here's another big old Morris Survivor, quite a rarity. This was seen at Prescott at a VSCC event. NXS 470 is a Morris Oxford, a 20 horsepower saloon. What a fantastic car that is. I do like the enclosed spare wheels on the running board as well. Really, really nice car. Now this is a special built or based rather upon the 1932 Morris Mine and this is the McAvoy Special. Uh, really interesting little car. MGB alongside it, of course, distant relatives. Now we've got two photos of a Morris 10M. This is a post-war uh, Morris 10M, I believe, 316HYM, dating to about 1947, this particular car. 
the uh, radiator surround on the earlier 10 m's was slightly square the badge was different at the top of the radiator surround and it was smoothed off on the later cars here's a rear view of the same car this was at an auction i think in Malvern quite a few years ago now do you know where it is now if you can shed light on the history of this car or any of the cars featured in this collection please let me know in the comments it's always great to read your thoughts on these cars now back to Morris 10 fours and we've got a two-tone green and black example here CG 7951 another sunny day back to Prescott in 2022 and a really smart a four seat version of the bullnose Cowley isn't that a fantastic little car that Slightly later, but in a similar series, we've got UU8694. This is one of the flat rad Morris Cowlitz. The later, the last of the line, had a slightly different badge. We'll see one of those later, more of a winged badge on the radiator. This has the circular badge. So I'm guessing about 1929 or 1930. Back to the Morris 8, another series one here on a reissued registration by the look of it, YAS395 three, or 335 two-door car, four-door saloon, really nice example, this was at the NEC Classic Car Show. I'm staying with Morris 8 for a moment, we've got JY7832, another Series 1 Tourer, four-seat Tourer, with its hood raised, clip-in side screens in the back there, but yeah, that was really nice, this was in another evening VSCC meeting not far from here. A very similar car here, JY5364. This one's had a headlamp conversion as well, it's a slightly smaller sealed beam lamps. Look very different to the original lamps that these would have had back in the 1930s. A side on view of another Morris Minor here. This is probably 32 or 1933 thereabouts. Little two seater, this was Morris's 100 pound car. You could buy this new for £100. Back in those days, of course, open top cars were cheaper than the equivalent saloons, but it seems to be the other way around now. Now, here's a rarity it's a 10 4, the Reg MU9380. This is a Morris 10 4 Tora with Dickey seat, dating to about June of 1934. This is the only one of these I've ever seen, certainly the only one I've photographed. So it's quite a rare sight, this. Like I say, most of them were saloons. Now, here's a bullnose Morris that's been chopped down, often cars when they reached a certain age and were sort of no longer in use as regular cars were often chopped down to make them into sort of agricultural sort of little tugs or tractors or whatever and that seems to be the case with this amazing old survivor. Hopefully it still looks like this now. Back to slightly more cheerful looking car and a Series 1 two-door Morris 8 and in the background there's a little Morris Z-Van which of course is related to the Morris 8 and the uh, Series E Morris 8 saloons as well. Back down to the NEC and a wonderful Morris commercial because uh, as well as cars Morris obviously made vans, pickups and lorries as well and here is a wonderful pre-war Morris commercial. Demonstrating trialling action, this was at uh, Alton Park one year, the VSCC event that used to take place, AX9257, that's a Cowley, dating to mid-1926. This is an unusual one, this is based on the stretched Morris Minor chassis, this is the Morris Family 8. Um, these were produced for a short time before the Morris 8 Series 1 came along. So this was sort of between the Morris Minor and the Morris 8 four-door saloon based on the uh, Minor chassis, but in extended form. Here's a handsome car, a two-door special coupe version of the Morris 10-4. If you're a fan of uh, vintage or classic Morrises, please uh, say hello in the comments. Always nice to hear. But have you got one of these cars? Or are you looking for one now? Here we are at Alton Park again, one of the VSCC events at Alton Park a few years ago. 
got a really nice Morris Cowley here, EY 2961. I'm guessing this is about 1920, what, 26 or 1927, something like that. Really good vintage car these are, quite well supported even to this day with parts and so on. Here, another Morris 8 Series 1. These Series 1s were produced from 1935 through to 1937. Another one of the flat red Morrises here. This is a Cowley. It's a four seat, four door Tourer. Quite angular lines on these particular cars, certainly compared to the uh, bullnoses that came before. This was very much sort of the changing fashions of the day, if you like, in the late 20s and the beginning of the 1930s. Much curvier though is this lovely little Morris 8 Series E Tourer. Four seat, two door Tourer. Really nice. And that's got the original slopey headlights on it. Very different looking to the cars that have had the seal beam headlamp conversions, which was quite a common mod in the sort of 1940s, 1950s. And there's another one with the original slopey headlamps. Looks so much better, I think. FAF 785. This is a two door car in a very eye catching colour scheme indeed. That's my old Austin 10 4 alongside it. Here's another one of the uh, Bullnose Morris based MGs, one of the very first MGs based on the Oxford of 1926. Back to the NEC, this was at the uh, Practical Classics Restoration Show a year or two back, and we have a four seat Morris 8 Tourer looking a little like it needs some TLC. I know the owner of this particular car it is destined to be restored at some point and uh, yeah that'll be a nice car when it's done. Now this is a fairly late example of the flat rad cowley I was saying about how the earlier flat rads have the circular radiator badge and the later ones have a sort of a slender winged badge and that's what's going on with this particular car. This is about 1930 or 31 I think. A little bit newer now, GOE 934. This is a Morris 10M. This is an immediate post war car registered in uh, May of 1946, but you can see the slightly squarer, more upright radiator grill on this, and it was uh, refined slightly for the uh, later 10M, like the one we saw before from 1947. Now down to Bewley and the National Motor Museum, and this is their Morris 8 Series 2. These were only made in 1938, so it's very much an interim model between a Series 1 and the introduction of the Series E later in 1938. So these are probably one of the rarer of the uh, Morris 8 cars today. Oh, here's a magnificent, really, really stunning large Morris MY6380. This is a Morris Oxford 6. What an eye-catching car that is, and again, a really rare survivor. over to Brooklyn's Museum now on a slightly damp day and they've got a Series 1 Morris 8 Tourer. These, like all the Morris 8, were powered by a 918cc side valve engine, four cylinder engine. Um, yeah, that engine saw a lot of use, even into the early Morris miners, the post-war miners. Talking of miners, here is a pre-war miner. I'm not sure if that's a factory body, I suspect this is probably a special, like a one-off based on a what, 1932 or thereabouts Morris Minor chassis. Um, the polished radiator surround the radiator isn't original. That would have probably been painted. Another Series E here, a four door Morris 8 Series E. Uh, looking like it needs a bit of restoration but quite sound. Just how you like to find a project. A three quarter view of another Morris 8 Series 1. This one used to appear at many shows locally, but I haven't seen it for a few years. There's our old vintage Dodge in the background as well, actually. BVP 52 is the reg of this particular Morris. Another 10 4 saloon here, JK 4287. There's a Morris 8 Tour alongside. Almost halfway through this collection of pre-war Morrises, 
And next up, we have another Morris Miner. This one's a fabric bodied uh, saloon. That's probably the only one of these I've ever seen. CP8177. Quite a rare car. This was at Tatton Park many years ago, at least 15 years ago, probably more. Um, I've certainly not seen it since, but is it still in the area? I really don't know. Another mighty Morris here. Really handsome machine. TL3972. There's a Morris Oxford 16. That is a very, very smart car in immaculate condition. Absolutely incredible condition. This was at a show not that long ago. We've got a Morris 10M MVW974. This is a January 1948 registered car. And this is the slightly later facelifted version with a much curvier radiator grille. It curves over at the top. Um, whereas the previous model that we've already seen has a square badge at the top. And another big one here. What's this? HS6873. This is the six cylinder Morris Isis from 1932. Little Series E here, KHT528. The Series E was introduced in October of 1938. And with a pause for the war carried on in production until 1948 when the first of the Isigonis Morris Miners was ready to go on sale. Now we've got a very early Morris here and it even says the date on the scuttle which is handy. 1920 this particular bull nose. Really, really early car. This again used to appear at many local vintage and classic car shows but not so much lately. It's a while since I've seen this particular car. And the Series E here, a little four-seat tour, SSY 806. Um, the, uh, like I say, these had a four-speed gearbox compared to the Morris 8 Series 1 and the Series 2, which had a three-speed, if memory serves, but this had the four-speed box. Quite advanced. Another bull nose here, very nice indeed. Real barrel shape to the uh, coachwork at the back there, where you sit inside. It really tapers in as the body goes down. Really nice indeed. Now over to a motor museum on Anglesey and for many years CVU483 was on display. I believe this Morris 12 has been sold in the last year or two, but for many years it was on display with the Austin part behind it. Thanks to Vince for this one, and this is quite a rare car, Morris 8 Series 2 Tourer. Like I say, the Series 2 was only made in 1938 as an interim between the Series 1 and the Series E. Very similar to the Series 1 really, but the painted radiator surround and the easy clean wheels, those are the main differences really, just to sort of freshen up the design before the new car came along. Now this is the old Morris 8 I had, that's got the original headlamps, no seal beam conversions here. This was a super original car. And had I not got so much on, I would have definitely kept this one. It was just so original. Original paint, proper old cast number plate on the front there. Original registration still when so many have lost theirs. Now here, uh, thanks to that information board, we know that this is a 1936 Morris 10-4 Series 2 Special Coupe. Quite a handsome little car. There was also a Wolseley version of this as well. Uh, at that point in time, Wolseley were sharing the body shells of the uh, contemporary Morrises. Another early bull nose here. This was at a pub meet, another VSCC evening pub meeting. There's an Austin 7 Ruby alongside. Interesting little Morris here. This is a Morris Minor TV 6677, and it's a coupe, a two door coupe. I've not seen this one before or since. It says 1932 in the screen there. Um, but yeah, this was at the uh, Tatton Park event in about 2005 or 6, I think. Back to the NEC YG2770, another example of the uh, 10 4 saloon. Still plenty of these old Morrises to go, all pre-war, either in build or design. And the first of these to feature in this collection, FKN638, this is a Morris 14-6 Series 1, 1938, with many extra lamps on the front. Uh, 
There's a side view of uh, my own little Morris. This is 1932 Morris two-seater. And as I said previously, these were originally on sale for £100 a time. The early cars were overhead cam. And this is one of the side valve powered cars from 1932. Here's a part restored Morris 8 Series E here. Uh, these brought in several advances over the earlier cars, not least a slightly larger body and an enclosed boot. Uh, the Series 1 and the Series 2 didn't have a boot space at all. You had to carry everything inside the car, but these at least had an opening boot. Back to the Miners. Nice little two-seater here. Another interesting Series 2. Well, I say Series 2, it appears to have spoked wheels, or is it just a photo? It looks like spoked wheels but the Series 2 grille, so I'm not quite sure what we're looking at here. If you know any more about this particular car, please let me know, because I'm sort of intrigued by this one. Now, looking a little desperate, but hopefully this one will be restored one day. These are the sorry remains of a Morris Minor X post office van. The body had disintegrated and long since disappeared, but it had the correct uh, little Morris van uh, radiator surround. In a pretty parlous condition, it had been sat in that shed for many a year. Looking a little bit healthier is this Morris 10-4 Saloon, BHK 275. This was down at the Malvern Classic Car Show in the mid to late 2000s, about 2006 or 2007, thereabouts. Is it still on the road, I wonder? Unusual car here, this is a Morris 10-6. Most of these uh, cars are 10-4s, so to see a six-cylinder version is a very rare sight indeed. Morris 8 Series 1 Tourer here, BCE 844. Um, these are quite an advanced car compared to the contemporary Austins. They had the SU carb, electric fuel pump, and hydraulic brakes all round, which wasn't the case with the Austin 7, the Austin 8, or the Austin 10 even. So they were quite advanced for their the market they were aiming at. And here, another example of a Morris 10. This is a Series 2, I believe, on the spoked wheels. Carrying on with these pre-war and vintage Morrises. Got another example of the flat rad Cowley, or rather Oxford in this case. The five stud wheel fixings on this era to point to this one being the Oxford rather than the Cowley, which usually at this point had just the three wheel studs. Why they would have different, I'm not quite sure. Back down to the NEC Classic Car Show, BMF 582. This is another example of the Family 8, a long wheelbase four-door saloon version of the uh, Morris Minor which uh, filled in the gap until the Morris 8 Series 1 was ready to go on sale. Bit of auto test action here at Alton Park at one of the VSCC events and we've got a stripped back bullnose Morris special here. Rear three quarter view now of the two door Morris 8 Series E. Got quite a few front photos, so I thought it's high time we have a rear three quarter view of one of these popular little Morrises. Like I say, sold either side of the Second World War. LV6171, this is a Morris 10 4, and the later Morris Minor alongside it, and in the background, another Morris Minor. Uh, Morris 1000 and a Morris Oxford MO. So quite a gathering of pre and post war Morrises in this one photograph. Bit of a damp day though. Over to a museum in the northeast and we've got CN4107, a four door Cowley saloon. Bullnose here, an interesting factory shot on the wall behind it, showing the uh, production lines uh, down at Cowley, where the uh, Morris factory was at the time. A 
wow, this is great. This is a little Morris Minor based van. This was how the uh, decrepit chassis that I showed a few minutes ago would have looked with its little van body and the spare wheel there on the on the side of the bodywork there. We've got the externally mounted trafficators on the scuttle as well. Great little vehicle and so rare now. Great example of a two-door Series E here, XSD184. So these were built from 1938 through to 1948 with a pause for the uh, Second World War. The bull nose, uh, and like I showed on the uh, one of the earlier photographs of a pale blue example, no driver's door. So you have to clamber in from the passenger or the pavement side. Maybe that was part of the reasoning. They thought that it'd be safer to get in and out on the passenger side anyway. So who needs a door on the off side? 707 UXV. This is another example, I think, of the uh, Family 8. Rare, rare car. Very clean Morris bull nose here, little Cowley of the mid to late 1920s. Really, really nice car and a great choice as a vintage car today, as I've tried to say before. You know, spare support for these is still really quite good. So if you're thinking about getting a pre-war, especially a vintage car, you could do a lot worse than a bull nose Morris. Here's an example down at the uh, Bewley Museum that we saw this year in 2022. If you've not seen the video yet, a walk around video of the Abuli Museum, please check that out. And this one dates to 1924, says the handy information board there. Another museum example and a flat rad Morris. I particularly like the, uh, the old Pratt's fuel can on the running board of this one. Looks very original, it hasn't been repainted and it's all the better for it. Some great old automobilia in the background there as well, those signs, the clocks illuminated uh, petrol pump globes etc wonderful some nice signs here as well behind this series one morris 8 saloon this was back at that Mulvan auction that i mentioned a little while ago another Little two-seat Morris Minor of the early 1930s, the £100 car. Morris 10-4 Saloon is next, dating to 1934, judging by the sign on the screen. It's always so helpful when people put information uh, boards either on the front or something in the windscreen of the car, just to explain a little bit more about it strongly recommend it and encourage it in fact this was at the Kelsall steam rally I think quite a few years ago we've got a four-door tour version of the flat rod Morris Cowley Upon a little Morris 8 series 1 here Quite an early Austin taxi in the background as well. You don't see many with those original small back lights on them. There's a beautiful, well polished example of a bull nose Morris here. Three-quarter view of another flat rad saloon, WK1626. All right, a little uh, warning triangle around the uh, light on the back there. Two for the price of one here. We've got a Morris 8 Series 1 Tour in the foreground and a Series 1 two-door saloon alongside. Which would you prefer? Still another five minutes of these classic Morrises to go. And here, uh, another example of the early Morris Minor. Um, this time with its hood raised, another two-seater, but with the hood raised and in position. It was a bit of a chilly day, judging by the garments and the attire. 
other people stood in the background there. We've got an MG alongside it as well. Of course, the, uh, that era of miner went on to become the M-Type MG. Now, here, another flat red Morris here. Quite an unusual body style on this one. I'm not quite sure what this style of body would be called. Maybe you could let me know in the comments if you know. Registration YU8160. JX1330 is a Morris 10 for Saloon. And alongside it, that swoopy looking car alongside it, is a Jowett. That is a Jowett Javelin. Got another example here of the Series 2 Morris 8, circa 1938. This one's got a polished radiator surround, originally it would have been painted, as on the uh, example I showed a little while ago. You can see those easy clean wheels, that's what they call those, they replace the spoked wheels of the earlier model. Bonny little Morris here, this is about 1929-1930 or thereabouts. They did change the shape of the radiator every year or two. Uh, like I say, the early cars were overhead cam, and the later ones they resorted to the simpler, the easier to maintain, and more reliable side valve engine. Now there's Morris 8 Series E here, four-door saloon this time, and again you can see that headlamp conversion. Gone are these slopey original teardrop lenses, if you like, to be replaced by those bolt-on units with the uh, Lucas 7-inch headlamps incorporated within them. Gave it a very different look. AHK 423, Morris 10-4, there's a really nice little Austin 7 Chummy alongside it. And this is how the uh, Morris 8 Series 2s usually look with the uh, body coloured radiator surround FAE 402. Nice to see the old number plate there, the old style lettering for the, and the number 4 with a little tag on the bottom, a little serif at the bottom of the 4 That's how you can usually spot a proper old number plate Now this is magnificent, AOL 325 This is a Birmingham registered, late 1934 or early 1935 Morris Oxford, look at that, that grill, imposing, impressive looking car this one There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car. I do like those extra little lamps that just hang off the side of the scuttle air above the spare wheel. They, they were a feature of this era of one of the, you know, the more upmarket Morrises of the day, but they didn't last for very long, so it's quite a rare sight to see them now. But that is just a wonderful looking car, as is this in a very similar colour. Series 1 Morris 8 Tourer. This looks like a two-seat as opposed to the four-seat Tourer. But yeah, what a great little car for a sunny drive out. Next we have a pre-war Morris Minor RD1169. This was at Gaydon at the British Motor Museum. It's often on display there. This one was registered in October 1929. It's currently showed as sawn or declared off-road, so presumably it's still in the museum as opposed to being used on the road, but maybe one day we'll see it on the road. And here, RFO883, which is another Morris 104 saloon. There's a similarly aged tour alongside based on the Cowley, by the look of it. That's my old Dodge alongside that. Very bonny little Morris 8 Tourer here. Like I said before, the Series 2 um, was only made for a year, so Series 1 seemed to survive as naturally as you'd expect, with much greater numbers in the Series 2. I mean, these were made from 35 to 37, so they had a much longer run than the Series 2. Here's a rare car. This was also a Gaydon at the British Motor Museum. This is a Morris Oxford 6 F-Type. This was William Morris's own car. Uh, there were only 50 of these built with six-cylinder, 17-horsepower rated engine based on a bull nose, but six-cylinder car as opposed to the usual four makes this a really rare car. This is an unusual one, AX5184, and this one rounds out this collection of pre-war Morris cars. And this is a 1923 Cowley. Looks somewhat modified with those cycle type wings, um, but yeah, quite an interesting car. And that concludes this collection of pre-war Morris cars, vans and light commercials. I hope that was of interest. Uh, please have a look around the rest of the channel if you try the uh, channel search. 
uh, enter in your favorite make or model of car and you may well find some content relating to it thank you very much for watching likes subs and comments welcomed as always and there'll be more videos along about classic cars very very soon so bye for now